Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 18th, but you know the timing is fluid, we're just going to see what comes up. So what do we have for around the 18th, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? What do we have for around the 18th? Now keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. Okay, those just fell out, so we're going to have to take them. So, let's just see what we got. Temperance reversed. Six of Swords reversed. Queen of Pentacles reversed. And the Five of Pentacles reversed. Reversals, and the deck is not upside down. Okay? You're thinking might be, but the deck isn't. Uh, there's an absence here. And there's ext extreme imbalance, okay? We have somebody here that just can't go with the flow. They may be very frustrated. They can't accept something, so they're frustrated. So there's some sort of frustrations. Now we're talking right around the 18th. This is being upset, unable to master emotions, really upset perhaps. Troubled with the Six of Swords, okay? So this is troubled, uh, can't go anywhere, frustrated because you can't go anywhere, uh, stuck. Um, stuck in a troubled situation, it's stormy. It's stormy weather right here. Um, unable to get out of it, so being frustrated. So somebody is struggling. Um, they're struggling with their thoughts even. They may be very, they may be paranoid. They may be sinking. Something may be sinking really fast or, you know, something may be happening uh, that uh, is putting you in a trouble, putting you in the, oh, what's the word for it? It could be a dangerous situation. It doesn't have to be, but the Six of Swords reverse, it looks like, well, in this one in particular, it's a storm, okay? It's a storm, and there's a storm brewing, and the ship is a-rocking in the background. Um, let me just block that. It will. There you go. You see the ship in the bot. It's very stormy weather, okay? And so it looks like, uh, you know, usually in the Six of Swords in the upright means that you're getting out of it. But here it's stuck. It's like you're stuck in this situation that is... You know, there's a lot of turbulence. It may even be a little scary. Um, but this temperance reversed is not in the flow. And seriously not in the flow. Needing to ground yourself. Needing to get to ground. Okay? Both of these, you need to get to ground. It's like you need to ground yourself. You need to get grounded. You may be very, it may be very emotional. Somebody's having a hard time mastering their emotions. Keeping themselves in check. And, you know, maybe getting frustrated because... Uh, maybe there's been a, maybe there's, I mean, the Six of Swords reversed. There's refusing to take a new approach. Um, troubled. With next to that temperance reversed is a conflict. Very unstable. This emo, this, this is instability emotionally unstable on the 18th queen of pentacles well hip hip hooray uh it could be dealing with a taurus virgo capricorn now these are insecurities this is we guess and and this doesn't have to be a taurus virgo capricorn we could be dealing with anybody because this is the energy of the card we have an individual here that is jealous this individual is jealous this individual is insecure um, very, very stubborn, um, possessive, materialistic. There could be some um, paranoia, suspicions here. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Um, five of Pent. I'm just trying to see what we got next to it. Is obviously not giving something. She's not, she, maybe she's given up. She's given up. Or she's the one that's unstable. And I'm saying she because it's on the card. We all have feminine and masculine, so we take it how it is. This is an energy of a person that is insecure and unstable, okay? They may be 
um, very jealous and suspicious. They're having a very hard time with their thoughts right now and they're going up and down. They may be very frustrated with the current circumstances. Maybe there's been um, some uh, ghosting or neglect with the Five of Pentacles reversed. Okay, um, maybe we have an unhealthy relationship where now, um, or there was somebody that was ghosted, somebody was neglected or left behind. When you get the Five of Pentacles in reversed, there could be a turning point. There could be, a, it's like the, there could be a, a turnaround. There could be a turnaround where um, you see a, an, an improvement. Maybe somebody that ghosted you comes back. Okay, that could certainly be the case. Somebody could be coming back with a five of pentacles reversed. Maybe they needed to be dropped. I mean, she's going to be dropping something. Maybe she's already dropped it because you can't fight gravity. So, it's, you know what it feels like this is to me? Is that it feels like the tables have turned. That's what it feels like to me. Hmm, which is very interesting. It's like now, I feel like now, you know, we have somebody here that is frustrated because somebody has given up. Interesting. Let's get some more cards. Queen of Pentacles reversed is very stubborn. She's very stubborn. She's very set in her ways. Um, hmm. Three of Cups. Now, this, this one, something's about to pop up. There's a celebration going on. There's socializing. There's a communication. People are having fun. And there's something below the surface that is about to pop up. Okay? Just so you know. Something is about to pop up. These people are having fun. They're celebrating this person. That somebody is hiding. They're hiding below the surface. They're watching. They're waiting for the moment. They are definitely waiting for the moment. This is like drowning in emotions. Seriously. Definitely it's going to be right around the 18th. It's going to be very emotional. Somebody could be jealous. Seriously. The Queen of Pentacles is jealous. She's your most jealous energy. Okay. She's very, and it's a she or a he. Okay, so you have a very jealous individual here. Somebody is jealous of what they see on social media or something like that because this is social. Yeah, it feels like social media, it does. I think like there's jealousy. Now, this is a turning point. Hmm. What do we got over here? Ah, definitely watching. Page of Swords reverse. Somebody is watching and they are watching hard and they are watch. I feel like it's social media. It is. They're watching, they're observing, they're stalking and they're not happy. They are, this is like a spy. Okay, this is a spy. This person is probably caught off guard. They're caught off guard and I think that they they really don't know what to say. They they um uh, Get another card. Nice that page. This is somebody that three of it's her three of swords. This person is hurting. So we have somebody here that is hurting over uh, no reciprocation or being neglected with the five of pentacles. This is painful. Stabbed, you know, feeling stabbed right in the heart. Somebody is is dealing with some pain. Now the the page of of. Uh, Swords reversed is bad news. This is bad news. Somebody is, is they're watching and they're spying and what they do not like, what they see, they're feeling, you know, distraught. They are feeling distraught and they're, they're having, um, some sort of pain over what they're seeing. They're not happy at all feeling stabbed. Um, but the thing is, is that this person was stabbed. This person was, was hurt, was hurt. Um, Seven of Pentacles reversed. Now that is no longer the decision has been made to not put in any effort, not to invest, to relocate, to go someplace else. 
some it feels like we have an individual that has given up because they were ghosted they were neglected and i feel like the shoe is on the other foot now this is unrealistic the seven of pentacles this is dissatisfied unhappy you know somebody may have thought that uh they were they had the upper hand or something uh Page of Swords, Eight of Swords, Reverse. This is, there's some sort of lies. There's somebody that has uh, been trapped. This is mental turmoil, but removing that obstacle, coming out, stepping outside of their comfort zone, seeing things clearly. Breaking free. Somebody has broken free from... You know, maybe there was some sort of victim mentality here with both these cards. The Five of Pentacles reverse and the Eight of Swords. Whether it's upright or there's victim mentality. We had somebody here that was a victim. They were, but they're not anymore. They were the victim of neglect. They were a victim of ghosting. They were a victim of being hurt. Somebody got hurt by another person. And so they stopped investing. They stopped giving it their energy. They stopped thinking about it. They stopped holding on. They stopped waiting they stopped they stopped and this the whole time this other person was watching they were watching this is a spy this is a spy and this person is now angry they're angry and they're jealous they're angry and jealous that they the person that they ghosted is no longer tied to them it's like they're, they're no longer hung up now this obstacle has been removed. This is freedom. It is. Eight of Swords reversed is freedom from an unrealistic situation. Somebody has decided to give up and stop waiting. Stop waiting for this person to come around who's not coming. So since this person has given up, I feel like uh, Two of Cups. Two of Cups. An obstacle has been removed. No longer investing in the one that ghosted. No longer investing in the one that left them behind. Totally given up. Two of Cups is a union, is a partnership. Given up on a relationship. Hmm. Somebody could meet somebody on social media, okay, because this is very social, socializing, and I feel like this is media. I do. Now, the Two of Cups is a perfect match. There's, a, there's some sort of connection here. There's a, there's a mutual attraction or a connection or, you know, a potential soulmate relationship here. This is. So there's a potential soulmate relationship. Maybe somebody met somebody on social media. This person was troubled. Maybe they were in their thoughts. Maybe they were paranoid because maybe they were trapped or stuck on somebody that ghosted them or neglected them. But now that obstacle is being removed. Maybe, maybe they couldn't choose. They couldn't because usually twos are choices. They had to choose and there's a third party here. You know, so it seems like there was a, a choice that caused somebody to neglect a potential soulmate. And now, you know, that obstacle is being removed. Somebody wasn't investing in a connection because there was somebody else, perhaps. Maybe they weren't healed. The temperance card in reverse is not healed. Very troubled right here. Um... Now, this is lies. Somebody was lying about something. F but, but finally letting go of emptiness. So somebody is finally letting go of emptiness because of a connection. Letting go. Seven of Wands. Now, that is up for a, a battle. Ready to fight. 
And that's like warding off some stiff competition. And I feel like whoever is watching realizes that they have some stiff competition. They realize that. So it's like they're, they're coming in to ward off the competition. They're putting in effort now or they're going to put in effort. They're, they're, they want to be on top. Okay. They want to be on top. So we have a fighter here. We do. We have a fighter. And I feel like we have an individual because that was caught off guard. We have caught off guard here and caught off guard here. So I feel like there's an individual that was caught off guard They they by a connection. They were caught off guard by a connection. And they may have uh, neglected the connection or something like that because they couldn't wrap their head around it. They didn't want to be tied down or they didn't want to be trapped or uh, they didn't want to get hurt again. They've been hurt really bad in the past. I mean, not healed, hurt really, really bad. So we, you know, we maybe have somebody here, they're afraid, you know, every rose has its thorn, you know, they didn't want to get hurt. They didn't want to get hurt. So that's why they didn't invest. But I feel like we have an individual here that is, 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 you know, with the five of pentacles, they may have ghosted or they may have, uh, disappeared or something like that. But now there's some sort of improvement. There's some sort of turning point where we have somebody here that decides to, you know, win. You know, I'm going to win this competition. I'm going to give it my full throttle up for battle. I'm up for this fight. I, I'm going to show, show them what I'm made of here. That kind of thing with the seven of wands. Um, King of Wands, King of Wands reversed. Now the King of Wands reversed is somebody that is egotistical, lazy, unreasonable, um, can get mean, can be very aggressive, can be naive, um, shallow. This person is shallow. This person may not be uh, or wasn't very... Wasn't being realistic. Wasn't thinking. Had to let go of somebody. We have an individual that was still holding on to somebody. And that's why they didn't make an effort. I feel like they met somebody, but they were they had to they have to let go of somebody else. They have this new potential soulmate, but they couldn't let go of the one that they were hanging on to. And I and it may and maybe they couldn't let go because of pride. You think about the King of Wands in reverse is somebody that has a lot of pride. Doesn't like to lose. Refusing to move on from somebody, so I think we have an we have a we have a situation here where somebody built a connection with somebody else, but they were still holding on to another person that, you know, in order to move into the new relationship or the new connection, they will have to totally let go of the one that is dead. You know, the connection that is dead, and I and I hate that's a strong word. I know. But, you know, it is, it is what it is. So this reluctance to move on has ca caused disharmony. It has caused some sort of frustrations. So I feel like we, this individual that has had a hard time letting go is having a turning point. It's like, yeah, they are, they're, they're, they've reached a point where they're ready to fight for the, a new connection. Um, maybe they're jealous. They're jealous of whoever it is that they connected with, maybe that person is, you know, out having fun, socializing with other people, talking, and they see it. Maybe they see, you know, all the people, all the competition on social media or something like that, and they do not like what they see. They really do not. Now there's going to be an opening up for a pentacles reverse, letting go of fear and opening up. We definitely have somebody here that is about to open up. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, Sagittarius. 
Six of Cups reversed. Six of Cups reversed. That is clinging to the memories of the past. Hee <laughs> told you. Told you. Somebody was clinging to the memories that they had made with somebody else. But now they're being broken free from that. They're freeing themselves from that obligation. They are. They are. So I feel like there's somebody that is letting go of the past so that they can move into this new connection. Now we have the, uh, this is the Knight of Pentacles. So we have a new offer, or a new opportunity coming in. Somebody that's going to put in effort. This is, could be a, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. doesn't have to be because we all take on these energies. This is an individual that is very domestic. Um, doesn't move very fast. Plans, thinks about things. There's a message coming. There's a message coming from this individual. Could be an apology, could be a gift, but whatever it is, it's something real. So expect a message from somebody that <clears throat> may want to work on building a foundation. I feel like this person didn't because of somebody in the past, but I feel like now they're seeing a situation more clearly because they've been watching on social media and they don't like what they... It's almost like they're losing. They're losing. And they don't like to lose. Very stubborn energy here. Page of Cups reversed. Oh, somebody's bubble was burst. Their bubble was burst. They were rejected. But now there's a new stable opportunity, a new stable, this could be an invite or a gesture from somebody that wants to build something. This is a hard worker. Somebody wants to put in effort. So a message is coming from this individual who you know that's a manifestation the ace of pentacles is about manifestation it's a new opportunity it's a potential opportunity for growth a new a new opportunity a new start it feels like uh, this is an opportunity to build something strong and stable and secure this is a real opportunity so i think there's a real opportunity coming in for somebody that has a, has a lot of opportunity i mean has a lot of uh there's a lot of competition here this individual is just like she's like you know batter up This is a winner. So anyway, um, you could be dealing with Scorpio as well. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be dealing with anybody. But this is the end of being a victim to the past. We have a real opportunity coming in. That is stable and real. <laughs> I just keep on saying real, I know. This is real. Good luck.